I'd like to announce the production of a new video in the subject of the next generation coil and my focus will here be on the Cardius coil and I got a request from one of the viewers members to produce a Cardius coil with only three knots which I have done here, I show this to you in the, in the middle. I have done a couple of changes here because the load I was using was always unidirectional. This, uh, this one is multidirectional, which becomes very important. So it can take waves. The full wave cycle will be consumed in this load and can be shown um, the full potential of the output of the system. As I mentioned in my tests, which I used before the Cardius coil, it's very important that we have to use stranded wires for the driving or for the production of the Cardius. And as you can see here, there are three layers aligned to that side and we have that on the other side as well. And of course, this is a special um, wire. It's multi multi stranded wire which is used for, for radio for crystal radio sets. This has a couple of hundred um, um, wires inside as you can see here and I have to admit and I have to agree it is rather unusual in its behavior compared to the Cardius coil I did build before with many knots and with single wire. To demonstrate to you the relationship between input and output power, I'm going to zoom in to show you the details because of the light difference it's important that I have to show it to you. We have here on top we have this is RMS milliampere 14.17 milliampere and we measure 6.28 RMS, AC and DC, and we have an input of 8 volt and 3 milliampere. So that's this channel 2, and that's the only one which is active currently, channel 2, as you can see here. So we have at least three times the amount of energy available for this load. And because it's a 12 volt load, you have to understand that is a voltage drop 6 to 2, 8 volt after the current is um, used from the load and we have multi directions that means I use much more current yet now however not 100% more and that's also an interesting subject which I will demonstrate in my video on the customer side so we have a after voltage drop so this is my 10 volt if you want it's a 10 volt load for each direction technically yes it's a 10 volt load but 20 volt would be required from the complete wave cycle, um, peak to peak 20 volt would be required to illuminate that. I have however only 6.28 volt available in RMS, but that is compensated with 14.182 milliampere on the current side, RMS, for only 8 volt and 3 milliampere input. So join me on my website to watch these details of these two coils with various other things. So I will show the influence of capacitor on the driving side in series, what, how it impacts. And again, I will also demonstrate to you how we can use now magnets here in a very smart fashion to tweak the performance of the core material to desired values we want to have. Thank you.